Smerintus ocellata, also known as the eyed hawk moth, is uh, one of the more beautiful species of, uh, of uh, hawk moth in my country. The reason they're called the eyed hawk moth is because they have one special trick to deter predators. Their hind wings are decorated with beautiful eye spots, but they don't like to show them unless somebody is bothering them. So let's show them what's happening. I'm gonna try and attack it. Oh, there we go. This is the mechanism that will scare away predators like birds and they will think the moth um, is a dangerous creature like maybe an owl or a hawk or a fox and apparently it's a very active, effective defense mechanism because well as you can see many uh, Species of moths and butterflies have these kind of eye spots uh, like these ocelli and they are kind of easy to breed too. They will feed on poplar, on willow and a lot of other trees, even some kinds of cherry. Oops, it's kind of getting wild now, probably wants to escape. So it's almost free, just first it has to end endure this video. And has some nice females to pair with. Let's show you the colors because those are amazing. So here's doing a little dance to show off the eye spots. Means leave me alone. I'm dangerous. It's, it's funny to me that butterflies and moths—they are pretty harmless creatures, but they are really the masters of calling bluff and pretending to be dangerous with their crazy colors and eye spots and mimicry. Now, of course, there are a few that are actually toxic and have poisons, but... So, it's not entirely true when they say that they can only bluff, but... They don't have jaws or they don't have stingers. So, that means they're generally quite harmless. Just look at it, it's just incredible. And I used the word incredible too much on my YouTube channel. And <laughs> it seems that to me almost every species is incredible. Maybe they are, I don't know. And it's evident that they're easy to pair because inside this crusty, dirty little cage, yeah, I know it's kind of dirty, but I don't care. It works, that's all what counts to me. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go take this one and accidentally fill my own legs as well. Um, let's see, I'm put you in here now. Here's a little surprise. It's a male and a female that are already pairing. And normally I shouldn't disturb them, but they're already uh, they're already finished, so I can probably it's safe to take them. Maybe they will remain attached. I don't know. Oh, they will. They didn't even decouple. Now here you see the difference between a male and a female. Female is much fatter than a male. And now my hands are kind of dirty, but. Hey, uh, my cage is being blown away by the wind, but I don't care. So let's show you the eye spots of the female. She wants to show them. Hmm, she's not in a good mood it seems. What's interesting is the male can just dangle below her. He's attached um, by some hooks in his abdomen called claspers, and they have a good grip on her abdomen. So. He's just literally suspended in the air while pairing. Now, this doesn't dis handling them doesn't disturb the pairing because pairing only takes a very short while, and the male just keeps dangling below her for 24 hours while the actual copulation doesn't even take about 30 minutes. So. Well, all right, I'm not going to push them their stress levels to the limit, so I'm going to go put them back and hope that they will make a lot of babies for me. Let's go there guys! Thanks for watching and until next time, I have a lot of moths to show you this spring. Bye bye!